In this short video, I will show how to make use of additional buttons on your gaming mouse in video editing. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. I know video editing is all about speed and we should be using keyboard more than the mouse. But it doesn't mean we have to avoid using the mouse completely. So why not make use of those additional mouse buttons? Gamers prefer gaming mouse for lots of reasons. Laser precision, customizable DPI, LED lights and few additional buttons which can be used to perform certain actions while playing. We can use those buttons to perform most repeated actions while video editing. If you don't have a gaming mouse and wondering that might be expensive, well if you can, buy the lower end mouse which has additional buttons. That's all we need. Most of the lower end gaming mouse are very cheap. If your mouse comes with its own control software, you can use that. Or you can download Xmos button control which is a freeware and I have given the link for that in the description. Once you download and install, open it and you see a lot of options here all we need to do is to locate our additional buttons in my case mouse button 4 and 5 your left button being 1 right is 2 and the scroller is 3 so i use davinci resolve for editing and i have assigned r to split the clip and e to ripple delete the selected clip now in x mouse button control i will click on the settings next to mouse button 4 and simply enter r and click ok for mouse button 5 i will enter e once done, click apply. What it does is, it assigns the keystroke R and E to my mouse buttons 4 and 5 respectively. Just to demonstrate, if I open up notepad and click mouse button 4, it will type R. Since we have assigned R to split the clip in Resolve, when Resolve is active, it splits. Well, since we have already assigned R and E in our keyboard to two of the most common actions while editing, it doesn't make sense to assign the same to mouse buttons, right? Instead, we could assign something that needs multiple keystrokes, such as Control alt shift t as an example, which in my case creates new timeline with selected clips. To do that, click on the settings and you can manually type as it is shown in the syntax here. Or you can click on this drop down menu and select your keys. Click OK and apply to assign. If you think this video is useful for you in one way or the other, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel.